Hi my beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, you're here and I'm here today to try some new makeup from Catrice and I have plenty here. I have some new setting sprays, I have eyeshadow palette, I have foundation, powder, a couple of other stuff. So if you want to see me trying that and tell you my thoughts, then please keep on watching. Okay, so this is going to be like a drugstore product, oh, not product, but drugstore um, video. So I'm just taking some of the uh, Fenty Beauty flat water. It's just to, I don't know, moisturize my skin a little bit. I'm not going to use anything else. But I want to try this, and this is not Catrice. This is the J-Cat Eye Surance, or Surance, I can't pronounce this, uh, Cooling Adai Balm. And it says to have a cucumber aloe vera extract and it's supposed to be or claims to be an under eye primer in you know like an under eye balm and it says um, apply eye assurance anti effect your cooling under eye balm under the area eye area and blend I love my Becca and I'm sad that I can't get my hands on of, uh, on this anymore. But I am going to, to find and try a dupe. So I saw this on Lico's website. And I ordered it immediately because I do want to try and find something else that will take place. But that's one. this one is blue too. And this one, they have similar colors. I don't know. Doesn't have any scent. Kind of feels similar to the touch as the Becca's but I don't know, I have to wear it to tell you what I really feel it feels more more balmy than the Becca's one but I don't know, it doesn't say to erase under, under eye lines for under eye, kind of looks to smooth actually everything so maybe it does we'll see we'll see what I think about it after applying and playing with this this is my you know first impression video but we'll have to wear these products and I'll let you know in another video or down below what I think about it well it feels nice it feels a little bit oily to the touch more than the Becca's one but we'll see we'll see I mean it's not bad, it doesn't feel any cooling, which I kind of find that it's a good thing because I don't want anything that feels a little bit too much that will make my sensitive eye water or anything. Okay, let's continue. Well, I am going to wear the um, eye primer from Creme, I think it's pronounced, it's about prime. I'm going to have that on my eyelids. This one I got from my friend Valerie in our box swap, so if you missed that you can find it on my channel and if I don't forget I will put the card up here. I'm not really that good at remember those kind of stuff you know putting video links into the description box. Um, maybe I should pay more attention and remember but you know things come between life, I work full-time, kids home, cleaning, cooking, all of that stuff and working 8 hours. Sometimes I do forget. I'm going to use this Mineral Matte Face Powder and this is in shade 10. That's actually new here from Catrice. I don't know if I pronounced that brand good, nice or right. But kind of cheap packaging if I have to be honest. I'm going to use a puff and just set the powder or set the eyeshadow primer. I do set my eyeshadow primers. Well, the palette we're going to try today. I don't know. I'm not really glad that I bought it because it it's nothing special. This is the Catrice Nude Peony Press Pigment Palette. And this is so... <laughs> It feels like a dupe for Huda Beauty's nude palette. And I think they went the way to actually make it look as a dupe 
as much as possible because I don't know if you know that palette has like a creamy shade this one has a creamy shade too so let me just pick out that this is the Huda Beauty packaging nude and this one is a very beautiful palette I love this palette a lot and I used it a plenty plenty of times now this is the Catrice look at it can you see that's the dupe It looks like some of the colors are not the same. Is it a dupe? <laughs> um, it looks to be very similar. I don't know. It reminded me of this palette immediately when I opened it. So, but I'm going to try it today. Um, I just got it because it was like 20% off and I thought why not? Let's see if it's a dupe or not because I do love that Huda Beauty palette a lot. And it doesn't hurt to try and see. So oh, let's use that palette today. I'm going to use this Naked Honey brush that I got from Urban Decay. And I am going to go in with this shade here. It doesn't have a name. It has a nice mirror. I mean, it's a nice packaging. Oh, well, it looks to be pigmented. I do like... Uh, Catrice makeup, but I had kind of hit and misses with the palettes. I wasn't really always lucky with the palettes. I do love plenty of their products, but some of the eyeshadows that I've used before were not good. But this one is very pigmented. So this one so far looks to be a hit. If you want to see if that palette is actually a true dupe, then let me know. Maybe we can swatch it in another video. But today I'm going to try a plenty of products, or a couple of products from Catrice. So I'm not going to make like a dupe video, but if you want to see me creating one eye with this palette and the other eye with Nude palette from Huda Beauty and swatch the palettes next to each other, let me know. We can definitely do that, if you're interested. I do want to go in with this shade here, that's like a matte brown shade. And we are, well, it's pigmented, definitely. And it looks to be, well, it's blending very nice. I can't lie about that. So this one feels like more like a satin than matte. Okay, I do you want to go in with this a little bit darker shade. This here. I mean, it's... It's blending nice so far. Everything is blending beautifully so far. I'm really liking this palette. Uh, I tried a couple of others from um, Catrice and well, they left me disappointed. The eyeshadow formula, but this one really good. I do like it. I do like how it's blending so far. I do want to go in and use some shimmer shades, so we are going to go in with this shade. I'm still going to use the same br brush. Let's be a little bit lazy. Oh, that's kind of blending very nice with the brush. This is really pretty. Let's go with the finger and see how... Oh, I like this shade a lot. I do want to go in with this shade though, this one here, and let's try the brush. I mean, it's working beautifully with the brush too. I mean, it's not the same quality as the Huda Beauty, don't get me wrong, but it's really beautiful. Oh, this shade is stunning. Oh, I'm liking this a lot. And it's showing like uh, multicolored on my eyes, like in more beautiful than in the pan. So I'm liking this so far a lot. This eye turned out beautifully. Well, I like it so far, so good. I said I regret buying the palette, but you know what? Maybe I don't because this looks very simple, but it's so beautiful. I'm going to clean a little bit the edges. Now I know I apply the under eye. But I do want to clean. 
Oh, for the primer, well, I didn't bought any primer from Catrice, but I did got the three different foundations from Lico. This one is, can we take it out? Okay, this one is True Skin Hydrating Foundation with Hyaluronic Acid Long Wear. This one, and this one I got in shade 30 Natural Sand. Then I have also the number 10 Suitable for Sensitive Skin, number 10 Neutral Sand High Cover Luminous Matte Foundation. No silicone, microplastic, particles, mineral oil, parabens. This one. And I also have the Catrice Skin Perfector One Step Care Prime Soft Tint SPF 20. I think I'm going to use this as a primer. This is the all-in-one step, hydrates, cares, perfect and perfect and protect skin perfect with vitamin C and sun protection. Innovation innovative pigment transforms while applying on skin and give individual light coverage for fresh and healthy look shake well Well, it doesn't say that it should be a primer. So maybe I should not use it Well, we'll see maybe I will try it in another videos video, but I don't know which one I want to use today Which one I'm kind of curious to look at the shade. So let's shake both of them. I don't know which one I should use. Oh, this is a really nice color. Let's see, they are called the same, though it's not the same. This one has a pump. This one is slightly dark. Let's go with this one today. I want to go with this one. And we'll use the other one in another video. So if you want to see that, it's going to be on my channel soon. But I am going to prime my skin. And to prime, I'm going to use Infallible Super Grip Primer that I'm using now for a couple of weeks. And I do really like this primer. So I'm going to use this much. I know how it, that it works with other... with foundations. So... Just prime and let's go with this foundation. So it says true skin but better hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and watermelon seed oil leaves a perfect even skin tone and natural matte finish, medium to high coverage with comfortable uh, skin feeling. So that kind of sounds like a good... I really love Catrice foundation and it's the other one in the glass bottle that I don't have here in... Maybe I do. It's this one, the HD Liquid Coverage Foundation from Catrice. It's one of my favorite, favorite foundations ever. Really ever. So I always love to try their new foundations. So two pumps. Let's... Well, the shade, maybe it's not bad. We are going to make it work. Well, it feels coolly. Like I said, I really love the Catrice makeup, but I haven't been that lucky with the palettes that I've tried from them, but this one looks very nice. I'm not loving it now. And it has to do that it kind of looks like it sits on my skin, but like my skin doesn't really want to absorb it everywhere. It's a little feels a little bit uneven, especially it doesn't look good on my nose. My nose make it look a little bit cakey, but maybe it will wear better after you know my oils coming through. So it's not immediate love at the first sight like it was with that other foundation, but it's not, I can't feel it on my skin, so it feels light, that's nice. My forehead looks nice, and this part, but I'm not really liking my T-zone though. It looks like I have plenty of makeup on. 
So first, maybe not really going with this primer, I have no idea, but we'll see. I'm going to also use the concealer. This is the new Catrice um, High Courage Concealer. It says Catrice ID High Courage Concealer. And this is in shade 10. It looks to be a nice color though. Feels very light. I'm not going to put a lot because it says high coverage and it's what a little bit of. But this is the natural sand number 10. And it is a little bit yellow. Maybe a little bit darker than I would like it to be. Kind of looks to be a little bit darker than the foundation. And something happened here. I don't know if you can see but it it looks like it gathered like it's removing the foundation so I think the primer and the foundation doesn't really want to work with each other but I mean it's my fault I took gripping primer maybe it doesn't work with a hard hyaluronic acid or something I don't know but it's not bad it's a nice coverage so liking that so far then we have the powder that we use. This is a natural sand matte powder. So let's try and it says that it's suitable for sensitive skin which is I don't really have sensitive skin but and let's set. I hope it doesn't make my under eyes look darker. Ooh, kind of nice powder. Medified everything doesn't look like I have any powder on it, but it also medified everything. So I'm going to set my face. I don't actually have the other products to use except the lips products. Uh, lips products. So I'm going to go and finish my eyebrows and my face makeup, and we'll be back to finish the eye, eye look. So be right back. So we're finished. On the rest of my face I do have the Soleil um, chocolate, Too Faced chocolate bronzer. This is a medium deep I got from my friend Valerie and also the blush that she sent me um, like a couple of weeks ago, last video, T Rose from Milani and it's a beautiful shade. I have to say, what am I having yet? Yes, also the eyelashes are from Valerie. This is Adele Wispies and I had to cut them a little bit because they were a little bit long, but I really like them. They're very comfortable So that's what I have on me and I also used the Air L'Oreal's Air Mascara that I got uh, That I bought a couple of weeks ago, so I'm going to finish my makeup look So let's go in with this palette again, and I think I want to use The shade that we didn't use. I want to use this one I know this doesn't have any names, so I've s I see that the 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 um, concealer is creasing. It looks very nice here, but it's creasing a little bit under my eyes. Maybe I didn't set it enough. Well, this is a very nice shade, and I'm going to go in with this deepest here that we used, just in half part of the low lash line, not the old way, just half. I'm going to use the same brush, I'm just going to clean it a little bit. And I do want to go in this lightest shade here, not the creamy one. And just apply it as a highlighter here. See if that's working. Yeah. It does. It's like beige kind of color. You can see the difference. I like that shade a lot. And I love when the palettes have these kind of shades. I know some people don't like it, but I do. For me, a palette is not complete if it doesn't have this kind of bright light shade and also a deep shade to deep up the makeup look. I've seen plenty of new releases, plenty of palettes. They're beautiful, but they're just not my cup of tea because they miss a darker shade, you know, in a palette to deep up the makeup look, which I feel like it's a must. For me, if you want a palette that you're going to use, you know, to a, to a whole makeup look. 
I mean, this... I love this makeup look. It's so simple, but so fast, so <laughs> I'm kind of impressed. I was first like, now I regret buying it, but you know what? This is maybe a um, winner for this first impression video. I mean, let's swatch a couple of shades. Let's go and swatch these three shades up here. I don't know if you can hear my... Yeah, this is like a glitter, exactly like in the Huda Beauty. I want to swatch, swatch this, this one too. Sorry, let's swatch it. Yeah, this is like a beautiful topper shade. And the glitter. Definitely reminding me of Huda Beauty. I know I said it like a hundred times in this video, but guys, it is a dupe. So, it looks to be a dupe. No, it's very similar, so you can't just see past that. Okay, I'm going to set my makeup and I'm going to go and use Catrice, the new 16 hours long lasting Catrice All Control Matte Fixing Spray. Hydrating, pore minimizing, ever matte. It has like a scent of cucumber. I don't like the scent, not really fresh cucumber. I don't know. It has like, not cucumber, it doesn't have a nice scent, like an old cucumber. Uh, it stinks. I don't like the scent, but I do like this, how it feels on the skin though, and my skin kind of likes it, so. The scent, we can pass it through. It's not too overpowering, but still there. Okay, I have three <laughs> interesting lipsticks from Catrice. I have two of these powerful. I have the number, it's lip care in, what's the shade? Okay, 40. This is Addicting Cassis and Charming Rose. So I'm going to swatch this. It's like a paper packaging. So it's a kind of cheap feel to it, but if the lipstick is nice, who cares about the packaging, what, right? So let's see if we can open them. Though I do have another shade that it's kind of, yeah, um, scary for me a little bit. We'll see. Now let's, oh, this is a beautiful. Oh, look at this. I don't know if you can see it. This is cute. Let's swatch this. Kind of like a balm, balmy shade. That's nice. And let's try this one, that's number 10, Charming Ro Rose. Very light, maybe into in the center. I mean, it's like a bomb. But the one I think I'm going to use is this one. This is the Catrice Ultimate Stay Water Fresh Lip Tint. Mask proof, non-transfer. I don't know if you can see. It says here, the mask proof. I want to try this. This is a stay on over, a very interesting shade. Maybe it doesn't go with this makeup look, but uh, the shade kind of spoke to me. And well, it doesn't look that scary. Let's try this one. Let's try this one and see if it's well that proof. It's like a tint, so it's not too scary, too, not too bright. I thought that this would be more pigmented, so... It feels like I'm applying water on my lips. I thought it would be more pigmented, but... In the camera when I look, it's more pigmented than I feel like it is when I'm looking at myself. It doesn't feel, it feels like I'm applying water on my lips and then my lips kind of drinks that water and it stays a little bit cooling but feels more mattifying. So, I mean, it's a blush of color, if I have to say. I'm, hmm, I don't know. I don't know, guys, I'm not really 
too happy about it. But let's just let this sit a little bit while we talk about the rest of the makeup that we used. And maybe we'll go with the lipstick and try that one. Now, the foundation, it I can't feel it on my skin, but I don't think it kind of works with this primer. I need to try it with another I need to take this off because it's hurting my head. Okay. Okay, guys, I know my hair is a mess, so let's don't... Don't look at it, I need to go and wash it and fix it, it's kind of like a mess, but I can't have this one anymore because it started to hurt. Okay, so I'm not really liking this foundation, how it sits on my face, it kind of looks like it just sits there. It looks a little bit heavy on some parts, here it kind of looks like it moved a little bit and it looks cakey. The rest of the makeup went on nice on top of it. Top of it. But I'm not really, not really impressed, okay? So I know if it's because of the primer and that foundation doesn't really work with each other, I'm definitely going to try this foundation with another primer, but so far with this Hydro Grip primer, it doesn't really work. Uh, I do have one more or two different foundations kind of to try out from Catrice, so I'm going to do that. So far this one is uh, maybe disappointed. I had very high expectations because I one of my favorite like I told you in the beginning is Catrice foundation one of my favorites so this one is maybe not for oily skin or maybe not for this primer so I'm going to try it a little bit more later and tell you in another video what I think about it the under eye from that it's not actually from Catrice is actually from Jcat I'm kind of liking it my under eyes look very nice hydrated doesn't look dry so far I do, I do like it the concealer though, I'm going to try it again because it looks like it's separated uh, where my wrinkles are. You know, when I remove, when I press down to kind of make my skin more even, I can see that it kind of, um, I can see the lines. It kind of looks, doesn't look good on my on the eyes. I know if it's because of the other eye, under eye primer on the balm. I'll try that again um, with different makeups. I'm definitely going to try this one again, but it's, so far it's not really, and it, it's not standing out. This is like, this is a problem when you try products for the first time. You don't know if it's the foundation or if it's the primer. Though I've tried this primer with different foundation and I do like it. But I'm like it, the primer with the different foundations, though this foundation doesn't like that primer or doesn't like my skin, so we'll see that. The concealer and I tried it on the eye balm. It's kind of hard to see which one doesn't really work, but I will go with the concealer, but we'll see. I'll try that again. Uh, eyeshadow though, guys. Eyeshadow palette has to be the winner today. Has to be a winner today. I'm kind. I'm. Think I'm going to do a dupe video just. Just because it's a huge difference in price, but the I don't know. The shades look very similar, so I'm going to definitely do that. The lip tint. I do not like it. I don't know if you can see. It looks uneven on my skin, my lips, they look dry, they don't feel dry, but they look dry. Let's see if it's, well, I don't know, it's not really trans transfer proof, smudge proof, and if you can see the line here, yeah, maybe now, ah, still a couple of dots and if you can see it here I do not like how it looks on my lips I do not like it so I'm going to try to remove it and try the lipstick because the lip tint didn't really work out it's still there though but look how terrible my lips look terrible let's go with the lipsticks and try the lipstick mm. and this feels moisturizing this lipstick I do like. This one feels very moisturizing. Let's go with this other shade and see if I can. Mm. Highlight the center. Yeah, I like that. 
I like this. This lipstick I like so far. So I'm not really happy about my makeup, how it everything turned out. Except the eyeshadow. I'm in love with the eyeshadow palette. It's definitely a winner. The powder I like too. So I'm going to try the powder again with other foundations. Um, it feels nice, like a powder feels. And it, I don't know if you can, I don't know. It feels nice on the skin. So I'll definitely try the powder again, but so far and also I am liking the setting spray, but I'll definitely try that more. But um, the big winner today is, has to be the palette. It has to be the palette. Because it, the makeup look turned out beautifully and I kind of feel... I kind of feel like I succeeded without trying because uh, it was very easy to use it so I'm definitely going to play more with this palette but guys uh, this was a disappointed uh, something that I expected to work didn't work something I didn't expect to work I worked so we'll see I have two more face products to try out in a different video and we'll see if these will work better I'll definitely play more with this foundation and see if it will work better in other videos on the videos, no, with other primers. So far it's not working. Maybe a, high, a hydrating primer, maybe that will work better. But we'll see, guys. Guys, this is everything. Let me know down below if you tried any of these products. What do you think about them? Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you in my next video. Bye.